a junior at Evanston Township High School. I am a junior at Prosser. About a month ago, we started on this project and the first phase involves students doing research on the Superfund site in Depew, Illinois. It's a Superfund site that's being ignored by the people who are responsible for its cleanup. Clean Up Depew is a website that has a lab attached to it. So students can go on there, learn about the community of Depew and all of the, the legacy contaminants from the industry there. Students can see a database of 998 soil and water samples. I thought it was really intriguing to see, like, to, personally for me, the map and to see kind of like all the information that needs to be taken when you get a sample, like the depth, longitude, latitude. It was neat for them to see the connection between the data in the spreadsheet and potential implications that that would have for the people who live there. We kind of used a map to see how one person that was going to school or a student that was going to school, how much contaminants they would collect over um, a school day, over certain years, and then like their whole uh, student career. So at the end, it turned out to be a lot. You have Putin here and you live here. Paul and Mavis are the two scientists who are coming out to classrooms and talking to students about a pew. We're going to five schools in the Chicago area. When you show the students that science, you know, how science can have an impact and get them thinking about not just abstract problems, but real life problems, and they're very responsive to that. We also had them think about places where they would like to sample. So places around their school, places around their homes, and why they would like to sample those areas. I feel like it would be interesting to take soil samples from the community garden that we have here at Prosser. I want to take a soil sample from one of the factories by my house. Well, I took my soil samples from one of the grassy fields outside where I actually play lacrosse on. We also talked about what scientists do when they go into the field to collect data that is in, um, for them to be able to make reproducible results. So far we have the different type of terrain, whether you're getting it from the same location, or the weather that could possibly affect it. The next stage of this project was to go out and collect soil. This is proving to be harder than I thought. <laughs> Teacher versus girl. Yeah, there you go. Bro, did you just throw the worm at me? <laughs> so basically I'm recording data right now. I gotta get the longitude. So put it on the scale. Okay, so it's 110. Actually doing the experiments, it's, it's really cool to get the hands-on experience to do that because you read about it and then you think, oh, how did they really do this? And it's sort of confusing, but once you get your hands in the mud and like dig up the soils and analyze them yourself, you, you realize we need to have the chemists that are going out and are getting the samples and are analyzing them so we can figure out how to help our environment and how to get rid of these pollutants. I think that was really eye-opening because I feel like things like that aren't quite as present. So it was really nice to connect that with what we were doing in class. It also made me kind of interested, like what's going on in our own backyards. For this project, I really didn't think about like, oh, there could be contaminants in the soil, you know, I just thought it was dirt. It kind of opened my mind about like what's affecting other people in the world. The other labs we do, I don't really get them all the time. I'm like, I know what I'm doing, but I don't know why I'm doing it. This one, it's like more real because like we can connect it directly to environmental problems and like solutions. Personally, it showed me like how applicable like the science is to like my personal life and I didn't really before this I didn't really put together that like the like drinking water that I'm like consuming like that could have such a detrimental effect on my health. Now that I'm kind of getting my hands dirty and stuff it's really cool. If you decide to pursue chemistry, if you decide to pursue engineering, you're going to come up against a whole alphabet soup of acronyms. This activity is just very empowering. That sense of self-efficacy that they get coming out of that is, um, is very big. Examine that data. The Depew Chemistry Lab is impactful for my students because it brings science away from the abstract and theoretical and into the realm of human beings and how they can actually advocate for themselves. There's so much contaminants and we don't even realize it. We kind of were reflecting on it as well in class and I was kind of thinking like how I would feel if that were me or if that were my friends. The people of Depew need our help. There's something that we as citizens can do. And you have the power to do that, don't you? Letters to the editor. 
This whole project is about teaching students that science is not just a bunch of boring facts in a textbook, but has real world applications. They'll remember the chemistry that they're doing better than they'll ever remember reading it out of a book or listening to me lecture about it. This has been a real good experience and uh, we're definitely gonna do it again.